a look here at the fires in California. And really, one of the fires here, the car fire near Redding in California, has spun up an unprecedented EF3 equivalent fire NATO. And you can see here, this whole area consumed. And it was so big, this vortex, that uh, you had to be panned out a good way to be able to pick up just the base of this whole thing as it started to spin up. And uh, they're saying that the winds in this vortex of swirling flames reached an unprecedented 143 miles an hour as it had barreled toward Redding. They're saying that it scraped the bark off of trees, it uprooted trunks, and incinerated homes. Now, one of the biggest problems we've had with some of the fires out here in terms of trying to make sense of things is the areas that have houses that have been basically liquidated, reduced to ashes, and all the trees around untouched. That has raised a lot of questions in different areas, but of course, every fire, every situation, every neighborhood has its own set of circumstances. And as they stayed here, trees appeared to be levitating, and the branches and sheet metal off the roofs seemed to orbit the column. So this was pretty massive in terms of wind and the power coming from this. And anytime you have a big fire, you know, the wind can get going and wind can fuel the fire. Here's another shot at the base of that. But an extremely deadly situation here whenever you have something like this take place. And let this be a lesson for anyone out there that encounters forest fires in the future. The wind can spin these things up pretty quick. And as you can see here, what they call a fire nado can come out of it and be very deadly. But I'm going to leave a link. I'll continue to update with more as I come across it. This has been Dabu7. Peace.